Have you ever wanted to find a simple way to create animation? Well, in this video, we'll show you how you can create some amazing animated videos. All you'll need is a free Adobe Express account and a desktop browser. Learn all about Animate from Audio from Adobe Express today on EdTech Hustle. Let's go. So about a year ago, I created a video that showed how you can create animations using Adobe Express. Well, the good news is that this feature is now built into the main program and it has a ton of updates. So the first thing you want to do is go to adobe.com slash express and you can sign up for a free Adobe Express account. You can even start a three a free 30 day trial if you want to try out some of the premium features, but it's not required. So here I am inside Adobe Express. Now you'll notice they have a lot of really cool tools which feature AI, which I plan to cover a little bit in the next few weeks. But at the bottom, you can see here's one. This is called Animate with Audio. This is a really cool and in my opinion, kind of an underutilized feature that's available in Adobe Express. So everything is going to work the same as last time, but I do want to show you this. Adobe has now added hundreds of different characters that you can select and create your own voice for. So you can see there's so many different options. This is everyone, but if I select category, it will give me some different options in terms of characters which fit a particular theme or a particular category so here's one that's haunt kind of like a halloween theme some other categories on here are classroom so you can see things like the talking pencil let's do food this is always fun talking avocado talking toast which is sort of cool i guess i'll do animals you can see that there's lots of different animals different designs that sort of thing uh let me just go ahead and do uh I don't know, how about Waddle's the uh, the penguin? This should be a good one. All right, now the other thing you can do is you can select the size that you want. So you have tons of different options in terms of what size that you want to create. So if this is something that you're going to use on let's say, I don't know, Instagram, I guess I can just keep it as the square form. And the last thing is to select background. Now on here, you can see there's a number of different backgrounds that you can choose. So let me just go ahead and take this one. Okay, you wanna size your character. You can make them as big or as small as you would like. I guess I'll kind of put him uh, sort of halfway there. Okay, I'll just maybe move him like this. All right, and now the last step is going to be to record the dialogue. Now, if you already have a pre-recorded clip, you can select this button where it says browse and you can upload your own audio. You can see the types of formats on the screen as well as the maximum duration, either two minutes or one gigabyte. But what I'm going to do is to record this. And what I'd like to do this again, a great feature which you can find in Adobe Podcast, I'm gonna leave the link for that video at the top of this of the window, is the option to enhance speech. So even if you're just recording from like a laptop microphone, this is going to make your audio sound really good. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to enhance the speech. I'll click record and I should be counted down in a second. Hey everyone, you are talking to a penguin right here reporting from the North Pole on the EdTech Hustle YouTube channel. I hope you like Adobe Express Animate with Audio. And I'm done. So one thing that I didn't mention is as you talk and it's recording your voice, you should see the blue frame around that image kind of uh, go up and down. This essentially shows that it is recording. So if you look at the side, you can see that in just about a few minutes, I should have my audio recorded, speech should be enhanced, and you'll notice that this character should be speaking with what I said. Let's go ahead and wait for this, and I'll get back to you in a second. Okay, so here we are. It looks like this is done. Let's go ahead and play it. Hey everyone, you are talking to a penguin right here reporting from the North Pole on the EdTech Hustle YouTube channel. I hope so pretty cool. Not only does the mouth move, but you can also see that it tries to kind of move the penguin's uh, body. You can see his wings kind of moving a little bit. It will do this for all characters. So it really creates the appearance of 
of an animated character, even though all we did is just record that audio. Now, there's a few different options once you have your audio created. So if I select this button that will let, that will let me download the MP4 file, okay, which is great. I can then take that file and I could upload that to Instagram. Let me go ahead and download that right now. Okay, here's Waddles. Hey everyone, you are talking. Okay, pretty cool. You can see, that's it. I mean, it's really cool that Adobe doesn't leave any kind of obnoxious watermark or anything else on there. I can take that, upload that to Instagram, and I'm good. Now, the next thing you can do, if there's other things that you'd like to do on this actual video, maybe add some text, or you can see animations, filters, that sort of thing, there is an editor that you can use inside Adobe Express. Now, if you're used to full featured video editors, this is going to be kind of like a scaled back version, but you can do some really interesting things here. So I can take text and I can maybe add some text here directly to the screen. So I'll just take this, drag my filter right over here and you can see if I just hover this right over here, 100,000 followers, I can put this like right about here. So the thing I really like about this text is I'm not locked into just this text of 100K followers. If I double click any text element, it's going to give me the option to not only change and edit the text, but also to change things like the font style or the color outline, that sort of thing. So you have complete control over that. The other thing that you can do, which I think is kind of cool, is for any element that you add, onto your project you animation. So here where it says animation, I can select something like tumble. And now when that's come in, it's going to automatically come in with that tumbling effect, which I think is kind of neat. Now, the last thing for my video that I can do is add a song in the background. So it's not just my voice. So all I did is I went to media and I selected happy. And by selecting happy, it's going to give you a number of different suggestions for photos, video, and audio. In this case, I'm looking for audio, and you can see that there's a number of different suggestions that are available. Let's play a couple. Okay, not bad. Not quite what I'm looking for. Let me try something like this. Better. Now take this one. Let me go ahead and take this one. I'm just going to drag it down here to my timeline. Whoops, let me try it again. There we go. Play it back. Maybe just take the audio down a bit. Just a little more. Here we go. Let's play it back. Okay, not bad. So I think that looks and sounds pretty cool. The last step is just to download it right up at the top. I have that download button. I'm gonna keep the settings as they are. And in just a few moments, this should be finished. Now, one thing I do wanna let you know is this is not going to work in the Adobe Express app for mobile. So if you download that and you create an account, you're not going to see animate from audio. So this does have to be completed on a computer or laptop with a fully featured desktop browser with the microphone access, of course. But that's just about it. So go ahead, give this a shot at Adobe Express. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you have questions, go ahead and leave them in the comment area below. And I hope you have a great day.